So when the baby's in shallow water like this, if they do have an accidental submersion where they overbalance and go under without a trigger, just pick them up gently. They're used to going, oh, don't cry, darling. You're a good girl. Hold okay. still. Okay. That's a good yes. Girl. Did you get some water in your nose? Did you come off? So as I've been saying all the time, <laughs> yes. don't panic. Pick the baby up slowly. Keep the conditioning going because that's what's teaching them to hold their breath. You're such a good girl. Let's get back up here. So she was a little bit close to the side, but we're, we're really trying to work on that independence in the water, that exploratory learning where she learns to go through. And all that exploratory learning really goes back to this over here on the mat, where we put her on the mat and start getting those gripping skills happening. So I put her down here, I get her to hold my fingers, hold Papa's fingers, no, don't roll, we're gonna, we're gonna sit up, babe. Oh, you pulled yourself up. You pulled yourself up. You're so clever. You pulled yourself up. Go back again. Now give us these fingers. Oh, you got a good grip. You pulled yourself up. You're a strong girl. Go back again. So we put it down. And this can be done at home, on the bed at home. Do you do this on the bed with mummy? I think you do because you're gripping Papa so tight. So tight. That is so good. Such a beautiful baby. What a beauty. What a beauty. So good. Go back again. Last one. Come on, use your muscles. Can you stand up? Oh my God, you're standing up tall. You're a big tall standing up baby. You're standing now up. Now climb up, Papa. Oh, I don't know climb about that. Climb up. So what we'll do, go down here. I'll make a ledge. What I'm trying to do now Whoops, a daisy. Stay on the ledge. Stay on Papa's ledge. Stay on Papa's ledge. That's a good girl. Hold on. Rip. Balance. Pull. Oh. Baby, and talk about baby independence. In the water, you are becoming so independent. And so happy. And I and giving you the opportunity to explore. But you have to hold on and do it. You're going, you're falling. Don't fall, hold on. Hold on you little six month old champion. Hold on, oops. Oh. She wants to go to mummy. Oh. She wanted to go you to mummy. You came over to mummy. She wanted <laughs> oh. to go to mummy. You came over. Where's Papa? Where's Papa? Oh, oh. Show me those oh. gripping skills, Jano. Oh. Holy dooly, she's higher than me. Oh. She's a very high little girl. Oh, up there. Oh. Up there. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Jane, she's loving the water. Oh, she loves the water, don't you? You love it. Jane, stimulation. Give us an idea of what you're doing with her. Stimulation wise, I mean all sight, sound, taste, touch, smell. Oh. 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 What are we doing? What have we been doing? Lots of water activities and things that we can do on land as well. So if you don't have access to a pool, there's lots of stimulation activities you can do at home. You can do these gripping skills, you can do your cups in the water, you can work on your ab strength or your core strength with rolling over activities. Uh, popping them on their tummy and seeing how they go on their tummy, lifting their head by themselves. There's lots and lots of skills you can do in the first six months that will correlate to the summer. You've been so good today. She's, is she getting tired? You might be. You're getting a bit sleepy.